So here's the way it's all laying out today. We've got the ready mix truck starting to arrive out on the street. We're figuring about nine loads over the next four hours to pour all the forms. Oh, we've got Jeff Siegel's concrete pump station here to take the concrete here and send it out on the hydraulic boom to where the forms are. And that's where Brad's got his crew controlling the pour and working the concrete as it goes into the middle of those ICFs. So Brad, it takes a while for the walls to go up, but once those are up, this concrete pour, this is like a four hour operation, right? Right, it takes about 20 minutes to empty a truck, so that's what we ask for in spacing. And then once you are pouring, do you, you tend to just go around the whole perimeter three or four times in different lifts, or, or do you basically fill up a spot and then move on? No, we'll do three or four lifts on uh, walls this high. Let the concrete set up a bit so as not to uh, have too much pressure. We don't want any forms to fail. And then we can consolidate the concrete well too. Now, the, the way these things are done here today, the way they're manufactured, there's a lot of room for concrete to flow down here. So you're not really worried about creating voids or anything too much, are you? Right, we'll vibrate the walls, especially around openings. Um, but if we get the right uh, uh, slump on the concrete mix, uh, we shouldn't have to do too much of that. So what do you mean by slump? Well, slump is how they measure how fluid the concrete is. So the higher the slump rate, the uh, looser the concrete. And so if it's too loose, you just build up too much pressure, I suppose. Right, right. And ends up with not as strong as concrete. And then if it's too thick, probably plug up just holes. Yep, and then we have a hard time consolidating it. And we want uh, good warm concrete on a cold day like today. You might recall the special stone ledge forms we talked about last time when Brad was putting the basement walls together. With rebar and concrete, they provide a literally rock solid platform for setting natural stone later on. And with these, it's advisable to know exactly where the finished grade will end up so the bottom of the stone is not too high or too low. Now, uh, you take a look at the way that hose is used. I mean, without a pump truck, I mean, you, you'd end up with like planks and wheelbarrows dumping on the top or something. It'd, it'd be impossible. Or a hundred guys with five gallon buckets. Or the old bucket brigade going on, huh? Yeah, that, that would not be a lot of fun. So once all the concrete's poured, um, you have those, those big walls that are, are tilting in a little bit. I mean, that you do that by design, right? Right. We'll have the corners plumb, but then before we pour, we lean in the center sections of the wall. So with the concrete in the forms, it's a matter of just kind of cranking those babies down and getting all nice and plumb. Yep. Plumb in the corners, straighten in between.